good work. Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein in the Road 100. And today we are in the final leg of the journey of 83 stars. And today I want to show you what hypermobility can do with lots and lots and lots of stamina. Okay, Jack. So we have 318 stamina. Uh, as it is right now, we have 20% more stamina regen. We're going to get 50 more stamina from Jack. Uh, we have 50 more stamina here in a stamina booster if we need it. So that would bring us to 418 stamina. Then we have a 33% reduction in the usage of our stamina. Then we have Valiant Heart, which is going to reduce our uh, cost of dodging of our stamina. So uh, if you want to see how much this is it's like that little bit and then this one is that little bit so it's about um it's about a 50 percent reduction in uh dodging um stamina amounts uh, so if you want to know why we're bringing jack uh because he does the little the least amount of damage to a boss possible and so bringing him along is just basically using him for his um for his ability to just give us a uh, morale boost and so you'll see here what uh, what we can do with uh, dodging around and having um, you know a uh, a lot of stamina as well as um, always 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 uh, being able to dodge uh, wherever we want to go oops and that is the uh, cost of being able to dodge is that you know you don't always uh, get what which, what you want there you're definitely gonna have to play uh, a little more um, you know defensively and we're dead and Jack may or may not get us so you can see there that uh, things uh, definitely you know go poorly when you're just kind of reckless uh dodging and then running and then atta just attacking outright um but if we uh, play just a teeny tiny bit uh smarter here um you'll see that uh the amount of ability that we have and that we can get to um uh will be very impressive um and you can see that we can get away from him uh, pretty much whenever we need to, except when he does that and kills us. And then he kills Jack. And we can just uh, go very, 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 very far away, as you can see there. Um, and if we go for this, uh, we can even get um, more stamina, essentially. And you can kind of go forever uh, once all of your stamina and everything uh, gets up uh, to max here. And you can just continue to, uh, you know, do a lot of damage as you go along. Just because of the fact that you have almost uh, unlimited stamina. And you have uh, almost unlimited amount of um, swinging potential. As well as... Uh, dodging potential so you can back up uh almost at any distance here and force him into uh that attack there oh and so we can uh just back up and we can continue uh doing whatever we wish here so he's going to uh oh he's going to go for jack okay that's different i thought he would come after us Okay, let's get in there. And we have no stamina, so we use Serene Stance and get get some stamina. Okay, let's get Jack back. And let's run away. Oops, wrong dodge. Okay, transition time. And 
and Jack's probably gonna bite it right here. Yep. So now we're at the uh, different point in the fight here where we have to dodge forward all the time. many swings so you can see that it's you know kind of like a lollipop where you have so many licks to the center of a of a tootsie pop and the, the difficulty is you know knowing when to uh, actually finish your sword swinging and when you can continue your uh, dodge strings so it's it's definitely um, a, a bit of a dance and a balance here And we can just back up a little bit. And let's just back up and do some uh, damage abilities here. And we have tons and tons and tons of uh, damage uh, that we can put out on our sword here. Which is very, very nice. And that's good that he... Uh, yep, definitely time to back up. Oops. Yep, we definitely did not time that one correctly. So here, it's the interesting thing that we have going on that... Uh, oh, and we definitely got to back up now. Everything here is kind of like a, a one-hit kill for us almost. So we definitely need to uh, be careful as to where we are attacking when and uh, what we're doing. And if you just uh, kind of keep your uh, dodges going, uh, most of the time you should be able to uh, keep your uh, damage sets, um, you know, kind of in line. Except when you make one little mistake like that. And Jack might be dead here in a second. Oh, no, no, okay. Definitely time to back up there. Let's go ahead and heal. Not that it's going to help us much. Definitely give us some health for Jack. Coming in hot. We're dead. Yep, too many, too many attacks. Jack might be dead here. Or I might be dead. If I'm not careful. Okay, let's go ahead and back up. Okay, he didn't like that, that I was running away. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. He's definitely uh, gonna kill Jack here at some point. Okay, he's going for me. Let's back up now. And the overhead slam. So you can um, kind of exploit that move that he does where he goes over and over and over and over. You can? Okay. Yep. Figured Jack was going. We're dead. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. And because we have, you know, super hyper mobility here, we can kind of go wherever we want. And uh, he can't catch us too much. Come back, Jack. Okay, here he comes. Yep, I'm trying to, Jack. Okay, here's where things get nasty. Let's heal twice. Oh, nice, Jack. So Jack did 86 damage. Way to go, buddy. Oh, 
okay you can see how uh, beneficial it is at this point that we are able to um, you know dodge uh, basically anywhere and everywhere when he's doing these kinds of crazy 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 attacks oops and he got both of us in one shot there so um, that's the that's the craziness of a kind of hyper mobility set on him is that yeah you definitely need to be um, you know able to dodge around and move and be quick about everything um, and having the super amounts of stamina here with the dodge reductions are so very helpful uh, to actually be um, in a position where uh, you can you know actually do uh, some good uh, work uh, at each of the attacks open and the openings but uh, the problem is that we can't take a hit number one and number two uh, when we do get in close uh, things go poorly uh, pretty quick unless we play uh, like super perfect Wow, Jack died uh, pretty much immediately. That was different. Oh, wow, we got extra super lucky right there. But look at that, we got 26,000 uh, damage off in just under a few seconds there. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Let's heal twice. Let's get this going. Jack, what are you doing? Let's just back up here. Give ourselves a little bit of room here. Whoa, he's going for Jack, huh? Whoa, double backup. That was different. Whoa. Oh. That was dumb. Okay. And baiting that attack is uh, uh, the best thing we can do. Oh. There goes Jack. Let's heal. This might be our death, but we'll try it. Oh. Oh, there it is. He, he delays it that time a little bit. Okay, let's see what he's going to do. Oh, how did he hit me? Hmm. That was weird that he got me on that stab attack. Okay. That was weak. Jack, you're probably dead here, man, so don't uh, get too excited. Okay. And boom. Oh. You mean like dying? You mean a mistake like that? We're dead. We're dead. No? Okay. Okay, we need to back up here. Let's heal if we can. Jack might be toast here. We'll see. I might be toast. And... That's the attack we want. This could be it for me. You don't have any more uh, heals. Okay. 
Oh, there's the big attack. Okay. Okay, we got one more heal in us. And that was stupid. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Jack might be dead here. Okay. Oh, we got us both. <laughs> I am really sorry. So, but uh, the the amount of quick mobility movements that you can do, um, it is very, very, very helpful. Um, the fact that we can kind of move around at will um, and we can kind of bait him uh, into certain things, that is so very helpful. If we were slow mobility, uh, we would be completely dead in like just a few, um, just a few attacks here. It would be pretty bad overall. And so since we can be uh, quick mobility here, okay, we can absolutely uh, kind of dominate the uh, short game. All right, and Jack and I are taking you know, extra damage and everything because we are, uh, got offensive order running here. But you can see that we can do, um, you know, 1580 in one attack, which is really, really, really good. Like, really good for a one-handed sword. Okay, Jack. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and uh, get a little bit more stamina before we go in on him here. Okay. Let's give Jack some health so he doesn't uh, spend his time healing here. Okay, let's back up. Ooh, good, good stop there, Jack. Yep, force him into that. Force him into that. Anytime you can. Okay, let's get uh, extra time going here. That will be helpful. Let's see what Jack is going to do. Jack's going to stay over there. Hopefully he can uh, target me, maybe? No. Nope. Oh. Doubled, double uh, attacks on delayed uh, times. Tricky, tricky. Okay. Come on, Jack. No. Yeah, come come after me. Come on. There we go. That's good. Hmm. Interesting choice there. Alright, let's get back in there and help Jack out. Nope. Ooh, look at the delayed attack there. Tricky, tricky. He is a tricky, tricky wolfie. Okay, let's heal. Jack's probably dead right here. Okay, come after me. Oh, that's also a good attack. He always has a follow-up, though. Well, unfortunately, his little blood trails got us there. Unfortunately, that is really bad when those blood trails can get you. 
because they take away things like concentration and uh, offensive or uh, overdrive. Okay, back up, give him some room. Oh, we misread that one very bad. Okay, time to back up. Let's heal. Okay, Jack is in in, in the danger zone there. Yep. <laughs> you can't? Oh, well, you sorry, Revenant. Oh, okay. I misread that uh, big time. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can get in there. Uh, they're good. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Two more hits, that's all it took. Uh, that's just how the game goes sometimes. So, being uh, slow mobility, as we saw in the last episode, was really bad. And being quick mobility um, can have its drawbacks. Um, however, it definitely allows you a lot more options. And this was tough because we didn't couple into it any kind of gifts or anything like that. It was literally just um, straight up one on two kind of combat and there we are 84 stars so we'll be starting our next um run here very shortly and we'll be on 84 stars but for right now uh if you have a chance to go for quick mobility um it's definitely worth it and if you if you have a chance to go for uh, quick mobility with a mix of weapons and gifts, that's where you will excel and um, like go above and beyond um, expectations of how uh, your damage output will climb. Uh, when you're doing one thing or the other, when you're doing like uh, just weapons like this, yeah, you can get some pretty good damage. Uh, also, you can do some pretty interesting things, but if we were coupling this with some gifts every now and then, like instead of doing this one and we had a uh, firestorm for staggers, that would be very nice. Um, and maybe instead of this one, we had something like dancing blaze. Uh, so between the two of these, we would have had a much more stagger available to us. And then we sure could have gone for more damage. And so uh, as we go along, um, you can kind of find a healthy balance between how many gifts you need and how many sword attacks you need or weapon attacks you need or bayonet shots or whatever. And the important thing is that you match all of those with your mobility sets more to more often than not in vain because of the high amounts of uh, iframes that are in the, in the dodge window here. I mean, look at how look at how far. Um, these dodges go uh, just absolutely crazy how far they go and uh, you can do some really awesome stuff like this where you can dodge um, you know kind of forever almost uh, with how far you can dodge and uh, you can do some pretty pretty great things with the stamina bar that you have and everything so there's there's a lot of cool things that you can do with really really uh, fast mobility sets here in the game so Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed 83 stars. Uh, we'll see you for 84 stars uh, here very soon. And we'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye.